Albuquerque boy says bullies took it too far after an incident this week left him with a broken wrist. Now his mom is calling out APS, claiming they're not doing enough to keep students safe. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen has the story. Love you. Love you more. Love you more. He comes from a loving family. Get you posing. <laughs> but behind the laughter, Isaiah Sines has been struggling through his time at George I. Sanchez Elementary. There were these eighth graders, and they shoved me from behind, and I fell. I landed backwards on my wrist like that, and all my weight went into it. On Wednesday, Isaiah says he was pushed by that group of eighth grade kids for no reason. So they just picked on you out of nowhere? You didn't mm -hmm. say anything to them? Uh, I, I was just walking to lunch. Not only did that hurt him mentally, but physically. Went straight to the doctors, turned out he has a broken wrist up on top, his buckle clip's broken. Isaiah's mother, Patricia, says she called the school immediately, but it only left her with more questions. I still have not heard back from APS security like I was supposed to from the sergeant. I still did not get no calls today from any APS personnel down at Uptown Center. An APS spokesperson did not want to interview with us, but says parents are encouraged to speak with their school's administrators immediately if they believe bullying is happening to their child. It is BS because I've gone to the school personnel there and dealt with one individual there personally since the second day of school, and I'm still here, and it ended in my son's broken bones. Even though Isaiah hasn't been back to school since Wednesday, he plans on going back on Monday with a positive attitude. It's kind of scary, but then you always got to defend yourself, so it will be scary no more. Jeannie Nguyen, KRQE News 13. Patricia Sign says she did have a meeting with BCSO and school officials this afternoon. BCSO says they took a report, but APS police are handling the investigation.